Hi to all. <coughs> uh, today another another tutorial on uh, using top rings, parametric top rings. And um, for this purpose, I have made this uh, strange model, like um, a Viking hat. So since we are using, we are going to use um, uh, top rings. Uh, the first thing. Uh, we need to mm, import in the model uh, the, the the poles, the center poles that we need. So we do this uh, before uh, using these parametric objects. So if we want uh, another uh, ring profile, we go to the to the profiles here and um, add the property with this profile assign the material and uh, now we have created this uh, 219 millimeter diameter and we add it to the model so we, we need these before you start using the, the top rings so let's start making uh, different rings first of all we go to the free space in the top bar and we activate the tools and in the tools you can see here we have um, three types of rings uh, but there's another feature we can filter uh, the these um, uh, smart objects by type and we have here the type rings and we see that we have uh, three type of rings available so let's start with ring A you drag and drop ring A into the scene, into the scene, and um, on the top here we see the prompt. So ring center point is the first, and we go here and we click on the center point. The second point is the top pole point, and we click here. Now it's asking for the ring edge, and this is here and the last one is the tangent point and we click down here that's it so a new parametric top ring of type A has been inserted so if we click on the object in the properties here we can see all the properties of this ring general properties we have the material uh, then we have uh, the profile this is the center mast profile so we can choose from those that we have uh, imported in the previous uh, step so I can choose 168 and the ring adapts this center part it now it has been adapted to the mast uh, uh, here in the profiles we can see these are the profiles we have in our database so if I click on 168 and and uh, we use the tool uh, create profile like this okay we have created a tube and now we can see how the ring adapts itself to uh, to this mask uh, let's select it again we go into the general properties so this was the profile automatic proportions uh, use a kind of smart feature to adapt different uh, values as soon as we change some basic uh, parameters uh, <coughs> the plug parameters the plug is this top part here and we have number of anchors we can change this let's make four That's it. You see now that we have four uh, plugs, and again, uh, the distance is the distance between the middle of the ring and the attachment point. Now it's zero point. We can make it uh, shorter, zero point five. That's it. This is the thickness of this plate here. That is top plate and this is the offset is this small uh, offset from the 
edge of the mast and uh, the end of this uh, rounded plate so we can set it for example at uh, 0 0.05 centimeters that's it and we see how it has changed of course we can change also if you go into plug we have here the flanges these are these uh, parts here uh, the plunge the flanges this is the height of the flange 10 centimeters so we can put it to uh, 5 centimeters uh, the thickness and this is this small thick part 0 0.05 quite big this one let's make it smaller plug 0 0.01 centimeter so we see how uh, the parameters have changed <coughs> let's give a look at other parameters uh, the bars these are these bolts here going from the plug down to the ring and we can choose the type of bolt M22, M24, and you see how the bolts have changed. Top extension is the extension here of the bolt outside the ring, put it to 10 centimeters. Connection is the bottom connection part and we have the diameter of the pin 0 0.05 we'll change this one and the washer diameter 0 0.1 that's it so how we are changing these parameters again the ring parameters this is di the diameter of um, the ring and we have uh, an external ring, an internal ring, and a clamping plate. So we have also here the external ring, the width of the external ring, that's the, 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 the width from here to here, uh, and uh, the thickness of the ring, the angle, and if it's tapered or not. They put up not. Um, the clamping plate. This is the clamping plate here for the membrane clamping plate. So we have the width. I can get it a bit, a bit. 0 0.08. Make it bigger. And the thickness of the plate. Then we have uh, the rivets. We can say activate, make holes. This will take a little bit time more. It will generate. Um, number of sec number of uh, per sector means how many nodes per sector in this case we have six so we can see that each of these sectors the sector is from this plate to this plate we have uh, one two three four five and six uh, six bolts six rivets and again if we go to the ring uh, to the rivets um, we have a um, number of diameters offset this is the offset from the first bolt from the flange the middle flange so if i put it higher let's say uh, 10 offsets it will apply an offset of 10 diameters from this starting point so the bolts get more near each other you see between these and they go far away from so far away from these clamping plates so we don't uh, the bolts uh, 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 don't interfere with uh, these clamping plates here so this was a uh, plate plate A let's give a look now at uh, go to the smart objects ring A let's give a look at uh, ring C Ring C is a little bit different. C 
so we drag and drop ring C into the scene and uh, if we look at the prompt it's asking for the number of attachment points four points I just click it to confirm four points uh, center point the top pole again let's say it's here it's the near. now it, it's asking the first anchor point uh, take off the near snap and it's uh, here the second anchor point the third anchor point and the fourth anchor point now it's asking for the radius of the ring and the tangent point of the ring and we see here this is the ring the ring has this part here and with four flanges for to attach four flying cables so generally this is used for uh, flying flying rings this is much simpler again if we click on the ring in general we have uh, the material again a cross section let's make it 168 again and almost uh, very the cable plate is this plate on top here so the diameter of the hole the width of the plate the thickness of the plate parameters of the ring again diameter of the ring the plate width the thickness of the ring the angle and so on rivets make holes let's make holes again on the on the, on the rivets that's it so this was plate plate type uh, C this is plate type a uh, ring side T sorry ring ring side T uh, the last ring ring type B drag and drop ring type B again center point the top of the ring top of the pole put it here and then the ring edge point and again this one ring type ring type B as we can see is a bit different between those it's uh, it has this top part so in general let's choose again tube I will use 219 diameter tube so this is adapted to this tube this top part is the sleeve so you can change number of anchor points number four again here four anchor points and uh, we have for the sleeve the distance from the center ring to the to the to the sleeve and zero point zero point five adapted the thickness of the plate the whole diameters and the whole distance if we change the whole distance 0 0.05 it will make holes like that and if we change um, uh, the whole distance 0 0.1 six centimeters hold this again here same parameters for the ring let's show the rivets and we have made <coughs> our final ring uh, in this ring here this is a special type of ring um, smart dimensions here they are turnbuckle related it means that uh, many of the, the the parameters of the ring depend on the turnbuckle that we choose here so if I select another turnbuckle uh, for example 14 millimeter turnbuckle 
So we have selected a different type of turnbuckle and most of the parameters here of the, the bolt size and the ring size have changed based on uh, the turnbuckle that we have selected. So this is very uh, comfortable. Uh, but we can change, we can switch off this behavior and we can say uh, off. So all the units, we can change all, almost all the parameters. So this is top ring type uh, B. So top ring type B, top ring type C, and top ring type A. Uh, for all the parameters, since there are quite a lot, if you double click on these, uh, on these uh, smart objects, uh, an image comes up that will show you um, more or less, more or less all, all of the parameters, what they are. So this is, um, uh, it's, it's, it's easy to understand what the parameters will change. And uh, this is ring uh, type B. Uh, this, let's see, ring type A, quite more simple ring. And uh, last one, ring type uh, A. So, and uh, that's for all. Thanks for watching.